Some court cases in the area have been resolved online. We have the details. Why were so many would-be wizards gathered at the Foothills Library? We'll tell you. And we take an inside look at the county's financial services department. These stories and more, this is your County Line. If you've ever been involved with the court process, you may be confused on where to go and what to do. Thanks to a new program being tested in Yuma County, that confusion can be relieved because now some disputes can be settled online. The Arizona Administrative Office is piloting an online dispute resolution service in Yuma County. Some cases in the area of family law have been getting resolved using technology to facilitate resolutions in court matters. Some cases, such as modification of decision-making, parenting time, and child support, as well as enforcement of child support, all have the potential to be considered for the online dispute resolution process. Because you can do this at any time. We can do this online dispute resolution communication with the parents in between our other in-person mediations. So if we've got some downtime, and we do occasionally, then we can communicate. The online dispute resolution project is also being piloted in different courts around the state. It's all part of the Arizona Administrative Office's commitment to promoting access to justice. It was a Pottertastic event at the Foothills Library recently as young people gathered for the fifth annual Harry Potter Book Night. The library transformed into the four houses of Hogwarts, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. Participants had the chance to learn what it takes to be a wizard like Harry Potter. Wands and gift bags were prepared for the first 300 people to arrive. And the young people enjoyed the wizard shops, crafts, trivia, and games. We're trying to help encourage, foster a love of reading, um, help them to become better readers, give them a, a diverse um, option of things to read, um, as well as giving them um, opportunities such as Harry Potter Day, our summer reading program, our winter reading program that we also have going on, um, to help foster that love of reading. The Harry Potter Book Night is celebrated each year throughout the world, and tens of thousands would-be wizards attend each year. On this edition of our Department Spotlight series, we take a closer look at the Financial Services Department. They're responsible for all financial programs in Yuma County. The mission statement for the Financial Services Department pretty much is for us to provide customers with professional and reliable uh, services that uh, that they are timely, they're accurate, and of course they're valuable to their operations. Accounts payable, they handle all the payments for the vendors. They not only process the invoices, they, they print the checks, they mail the checks, and if there is any discrepancy with the payments, they handle that. We do travel for the entire county. Every single purchase that is done in Yuma County, compliance reviews it to make sure that it's part of the uh, person's policies. Another division is our financial reporting division, and their main responsibility is to assist the uh, chief financial officer and the deputy financial officer to prepare the financial statements and also to go through the annual audit. Uh, General Ledger pretty much is in charge of keeping the integrity of our data. They are uh, the ones that uh, make sure that all the transactions are properly classified, properly coded. So payroll handles uh, paychecks pretty much for all the 1,300 employees here in Yuma County. From withholdings to garnishment, payroll uh, collects all that data, enters the information in the system, and we make sure that everybody gets properly paid. Finance department plays a very important role in Yuma County because uh, we have contact with each agency here in, in, in Yuma County. They always have a need for a report. They always have a need for information. 
they always have a need for uh, guidance and training. You can learn more about Yuma County's Finance Department by visiting yumacountyaz.gov. You'll find them under the Government tab. Hi, I'm Trisha, and this is your Health Watch. Cigarette smoking and battery-powered devices such as e-cigarettes and Juul continues to be the leading cause of preventable death in the country. Smokers must quit smoking completely to fully protect their health. Here are some helpful tips to get you started. Pick a quit date. Try to pick a date that is only a week or two away and be sure to highlight that day in your planner and inform others of this date if you would like. List your reasons to quit. This list can serve as a reminder to keep you motivated on your journey towards quitting. Get rid of tobacco products and e-cigarettes. You can decide to quit cold turkey or opt to begin with cutting down on the number of cigarettes per day. Identify your triggers. Identify why and when you smoke and begin changing your routine. Learn strategies to fight cravings. Remember the four Ds. Do something else, drink water, deep breathing, and delay as cravings pass after only a few minutes. To learn more about the tools available to help you find and follow a quit strategy that works best for you, please contact the Yuma County Public Health Services District Tobacco Use Prevention Program at 928-317-4580 and get information on our free support classes. You can also call ASH Line, the Arizona Smokers Hotline at 1-800-556-222 to get support to help you quit and stay quit. Until next time, stay healthy, Yuma. Before we head out, there are some important events coming up you may want to know about. Yuma County will be holding an online surplus auction from Friday, March 15th to Friday, March 29th. If you're interested, just visit publicsurplus.com on Friday, March 15th, and you'll be able to view and bid on everything listed. Also, the Yuma County Juvenile Justice Center will be holding the second annual Kids at Hope Golf Tournament. Start time on Saturday, May 4th will be 8 a.m. at the Cocopa RV Resort Golf Center. You can find out more and register by contacting Leo Mendez at 316-4964. Finally, as we close this segment, we have some additional information for you regarding a story from last episode. On the last county line, we explained that if the federal shutdown continued much longer, some county services could be impacted. As you're aware, the shutdown has ended, but that could change on February 15th, which is the deadline in place for negotiations in Washington, D.C. For now, everything locally is on track, but stay tuned to your county line. If a shutdown occurs again, we'll definitely keep you updated. We'd like to thank you for joining us for this county line. If you'd like to watch past episodes, log on to yumacountyaz.gov forward slash VOD. And remember, you can join us live on Facebook. We'll see you next time.